Hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I celebrated my birthday weekend, so we had a lot of fun. I got a bunch of cool little gifts, and I'm going to share one with you today. So my sister got me this beautiful, it came in this beautiful box, this beautiful Zodiac. Um, it also reminds me of the Mayan calendar, but it's really beautiful. And inside was this adorable <laughs> little singing bowl. Look how cute that is. <laughs> so um, I usually... Palo Santo uh, between readings. So this also clears the energy and regulates the frequency. So I don't have to get my house so smoky so much. Okay. So this is really beautiful. I'm going to use this now. I'm only going to do one ring. Let me know how you feel about it. Okay. Hopefully, you know, um, it doesn't get too loud in the microphone to where it would be annoying okay all right so we're going to do a little energy shifting here cleansing heavenly father heavenly angels please allow this uh, frequency to regulate the energies and bring forth a healing guiding message for the beautiful leo Wow, Leo. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. It hasn't done that for me yet. It was kind of vibrating. And um it, I don't know if you noticed, but it kind of it got louder. That is really cool. All right. <laughs> Let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with two overall energies and then we're going to get into it with the tarot, okay? two overall energies from my beautiful Leo. Ooh, something's coming in. <laughs> First card out we have is a chariot. Another one for Leo. Okay. So, something's coming in after something was over or somebody that you had a disconnection with is wanting to come back is what i strongly feel first card out we have is the chariot second card out we have is the coffin card okay so you could be dealing with a cancerian you don't have to be but i know the cancerians rule the chariot card but this is also a victory it's a win it's achieving something. If you know um, the story about the chariot, the emperor or the empress drive the chariot. So somebody that's very in control, um, somebody that's uh, maybe a little bit more dominant in their personality type, usually representative of a masculine energy, but doesn't have to be. I just feel like I really do feel in this reading that it might produce a reading of somebody from your past that you had a disconnection with wanting to come back, wanting a victory with you, wanting a second chance. Okay. But we'll see how the, we'll see what the other cards say. Let's read the message. It says, Chariot, charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. Okay. The second card out we have is Coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. Okay. 
So if there was a disconnection, it was because it was teeter-tottering on that level of toxicity. And you had to, uh, there was an ending. I really feel like that, like somebody cut it off because it was too much. Or somebody was expecting too much and giving too little. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It could have. With an, I'm feeling two, two fire elements. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. Let's see. Or Scorpio. The coffin is here. All right. Marriage was at the bottom as I just picked it up. But it doesn't. <laughs> All right. For the Leo. Let's clarify. The chariot and the coffin is the overall energies. What's going on with the Leo? Okay. One more. All right. <laughs> the cards that came out were high honor. And then we have change. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, that's all about what the death card means. There's a transition. There is a change. You may have moved away from this person. Um, they've been trying to get your attention. They're trying to call you back. They're trying to reach out. They're trying to um, keep in touch. It's ruled by the 25, the 2 and the 5. That's a 7. And, I, you know, 7 is a number of heaven for me. So I feel like um, they feel like this is a... It's only after the separation and the loss of your energy is what's triggering them to really go within and realize that, Leo, you probably weren't the problem, okay? It was their behavior. And um, I think they're surrendering to that, okay? So here's this masculine and this fleet he's with. Um for me, this would be the tower card in the Kipper deck that I'm using only because, I mean, there's a bunch of cannons going off. And what did the cannons do back in the day? They would bring down buildings. They would bring down structures. They would bring down ships. Okay. Um, with it being a seven, this person feels like... You are a gift to them, okay? And they didn't understand what they had until it was gone, okay? So it's like when... I, but they were really trying to get your attention. They're going to be really noisy about it. But I think this separation <clears throat> caused a tower moment, I think, for both parties. When the tower hit for this person, it gave them um, an awakening, a realization. But when the tower hit for you, it, it, it almost the same thing, but experience different. Okay. It's just like th this tower gave you your own like little awakening to... your like self-worth and how far you've come. I think this tower helped you gauge how far you you've come because I think this isn't the first time somebody has mishandled or mistreated you. And I think because um, you're, you're You hold um, that, that, you know, that strong quality of loyalty that you extended your loyalty farther than it should have gone, okay, is what I'm feeling. Like you've been, you held space for like the wrong energy is what I'm, for, in a, for a little too long. But with each 
you you you've grown out of that okay you like you're you're wising like oh god what am i stumbling on my words for i'm sorry um each one has been a lesson okay is what i'm trying to say and um now i think you recognize the warning signs <laughs> okay the warning signs uh before it even gets started so you've come a long way you come a long way baby is what i'm saying all right some more for the leo <clears throat> like this was a change for the both of you okay your towers hit differently I think this one was a tower for you because you actually like this one seemed like he wasn't or he or she wasn't like the other ones for some reason I feel like this one was like more religious and upstanding in their faith and presented themselves one way okay and then they had this part of them that started to reveal itself the more you got to know them. Let's just say that, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's see what else is for the Leo. More for the situation. Okay. You might have uh, children with this person. Um, that is why they're possibly still having to be in your your energy field even though there was a separation but also for me whenever i see this card it rarely means child mostly um this is the fool energy so that's a brand new start a brand new beginning i told you <laughs> this is somebody from your past a dominant energy could be masculine could be feminine that wants to work their way back into your life. They want to really surrender and apologize. They want to apologize for being a difficult person, for really uh, playing on your emotions. I think this is like a total confession, a total washout. Somebody needs to get something off of their out of their system is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, and how heartbroken they've been without you. They're still keeping tabs on you. Okay, Leo. Or I have to say it. Leo Crosswatcher. Leo, you could have done this to somebody. I have to always say that. <laughs> but I am reading for the Leo. So I want to favor the Leo in my read. Okay. But they are really terrified um, that you're meaning what you're saying with this separation. That it is just over, okay? Um, and they're really nervous that this time around, you really mean it. So they're coming in to a really... I feel like beg for forgiveness and really open up the floodgates and really be sincere and really hoping that you accept their apology and take them back. Okay. And should the Leo trust this person when they come back? Let's see. Should the Leo trust this person if they come back? Oh my God, I think so. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just reading the energy here, okay? Because I just, I am feeling like somebody is really fucking heartbroken and somebody is really coming, like if they have to crawl on their knees back to you, Leo, <laughs> that's what they'll do. They really want another chance. They really want to make it work. They want to balance the scales. Um, they know 
what value you hold in their life and they want it back. And they're, like I said, that's the energy of, they really want to apologize. Okay, so now I'm getting inner, like wounds as in their childhood with this because I am getting that energy back where they just want to apologize for being difficult. Okay, like they, like they're going to come to you like very like vulnerable and, and innocent and sincere. And I asked if the Leo can trust this person and this is the yes card. Okay, this is, you said in wealth, this is hitting the jackpot. This is a yes. This is 777. And what did I say? Seven is the number of heaven. The 25, the two and the five, that's a seven. Okay, so, and this person is on their knees. This person is going to, I have feeling they're planning something really big. Okay, they're like planning something really big. Like, a, they want to take you out. They want to um, really show you how uh, appreciated and, and how loved you are. Okay, they really want to do something special for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they are keeping tabs on you, Leo. Um, I'm feeling secret admirer, but you know this person. They might be driving past your house even, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting some really good cards here. Okay, we have great fortune. What did I say? They want to spoil you. They want to take you out. Look it. This is my card of being spoiled. Okay. And you're like this golden statue that they're admiring. Okay, they do. <laughs> they do. They want to, okay. It's ruled by the 26, the 2 and the 6, that's an 8. 8 is the number of abundance. So they really want to show you how special they are. And they're going to show you, um, they're, they're ready to spend a little money. Okay, they're ready to spend a little money on the Leo. <laughs> or Leo, this is you. Okay. <laughs> but they're planning a really, really romantic event for you. Okay. Something I'm feeling like at nighttime when the stars are out. Like really a romantic setting. And it, like they just want it you and them. But they're going to make it special. Like I don't know what kind of, um, I, well, I just heard like renting out the restaurant okay so like it's just you and them and the entire restaurant with like the waiters the waitress everybody just catering to you guys the emperor drives the chariot okay so this is a daddy big daddy okay <laughs> all right more for the leo all right leo this is you Okay, another one, and we'll get into it with the tarot. Oh, okay. Uh, that emperor, air, okay, so the emperor area, I'm, a, are, are you dealing with an Aries? I don't know, but the emperor energy is a little difficult, okay? Um, they are not vulnerable. They cannot be vulnerable in their position. Okay. The emperor is the God of war. <laughs> they run an empire. They have to keep a tight ship. Okay. Um, they have a lot of responsibilities and, uh, they don't, it's not easy for them to show affection. It's not really, you know. That's really not in their wheelhouse, but I think they're coming around 
because your separation from them really caused something for, you know, open their eyes to a few things. Okay. All right. Here's another beautiful card. The happiest card in the Kipper deck. Okay. <laughs> this is Distant Horizons. So we have two nines here. All right, we had the nine with the change, and now it's ruled by the 36. That breaks down to a nine as well. So what, whatever was holding this relationship back, I think is coming to an end. But there is this love confession, this apology. All this has to take place before something can start again with the full energy, okay? Didn't I say seven is a number of heaven? Okay. And I said that they feel like there's like this spiritual connection or they're spiritually drawn with a, okay, with the high honor, the two and the five, that's a seven. That's like that. I told you the number of heaven and they feel, okay. And this is why <laughs> I lost my train of thought for a second. Okay, so spirit here with the bird. The birds always signify, you know, something spiritual for me, a spiritual guide. I think is leading you two back to each other. Okay, and if this is someone that physically abused you and did all these terrible things, no. I am not recommending that you go back to them or give them a, another 25 fucking chances. This is a person that there's a falling out because they didn't have enough time for you. They weren't appreciating you the way that they should have. Um, they weren't expressing their love the way that they should have. Um, so you felt uh, this disconnect or this distance or this insincerity. So this is something that you needed to remove yourself from. And this is the only way this person could appreciate what a true blessing you really were. Okay, Leo. Um, and if this is not something that is romantic, this has to do with either a family member, a friendship or something like that. Okay. But this is somebody that really loves you and really wants to make their way back. But there is a conversation, like a serious conversation that needs to be had before it can all begin again. Okay. All right. Let's get into it with the tarot. Here it is again. I'm just splitting the deck, you guys. <laughs> Single. <laughs> okay, this is the card of the single ladies. The Nine of Pentacles could be dealing with the Virgo. You don't have to be, but the Nine of Pentacles is about being self reliant, single, and um. And then here's the here it is again, backing me up. Ten of Swords. Somebody put an end to something, or maybe like this. This emperor didn't really have time for like an, a real commitment or, you know, maybe this is a, an energy that just wanted to keep things casual because they couldn't dedicate themselves to a real relationship. And let's say, Leo, you wanted a real relationship and they couldn't provide that. So you... You went on with yourself, okay? <laughs> but now I feel like this person does, okay? This person does want to have that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, two wanted to come out. Holy shit. Okay. Look, I know I just separated the deck and I had the Ten of Swords, okay? Seven of Swords wants to come out. With the three of swords. Seven and a three. That's the ten of swords. 
So, something broke your heart or some, okay. They did something that hurts you. Something about stinking around, something about information. The swords represent, okay. Maybe there was like a, a lot of fighting or arguing or somebody said something that hurt you and they went like below the belt. Okay. Like somebody said something, you know, that everybody has their insecurities. Okay. But then there was an argument and they went there or both of you did. Okay. There's two swords lying on the ground. There was just like this really ugly argument and you didn't separate on good terms. It was just like this really ugly argument and you both were throwing digs at each other. And I think it both hurt and wounded both of you because you both were calling out each other and that is what it left on. Okay. So I'm feeling like unfinished business here. <clears throat> For the Leo. Okay. Or this is a person. Maybe this is this is somebody connected to your person that was getting in the way you know, meddling around. Maybe your ex had an ex. Maybe their family members, you didn't get along with one of them and they, they were hating on you. Something like that, okay? Something made the situation just not comfortable. It made it, it was like uneasy. All right. Okay. So the, here it is, the pause button. The pause button was hit, okay? There was a stop to it. Um, but somebody's just hoping that it's just the pause button and not, a, you know, you know, when you hit the pause button, you could hit play again. But somebody's dreaming about you, somebody's praying, uh, somebody is tapping into their spirituality to give them guidance. And I really do think somebody wants possibly to, to work things out. But yeah, this was this so, something about this relationship got really cold. Because I am just three cards in with the regular tarot and they're all swords. So... The swords, like I said, represent our thoughts, our speech, um, our information. Okay. Told you they're wishing, hoping, and praying for <laughs> another chance. They want to heal the situation. This is the card of healing. And also, I know I said the tower moment in the, in the order of things, the star comes out after the tower, okay? To light our way, to keep hope alive, to allow us to sift through the rubble, okay? See what we can salvage so we can rebuild our tower, okay? Um... Yeah, you both still hold a lot of emotions for each other, <laughs> okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, there's a lot of swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but this specifically, um, the star is an Aquarian card, but I think okay. You both are healing. Do you see? She's there. 
Usually there's one foot out, one foot into the traditional, but there are, she's holding two pitchers of water, okay? So you, you both have been healing and wishing and hoping and praying in your own different ways. Um, but I think that there is a connection that wants, like a reconnection. On both of your parts, okay? <laughs> both of you think that there is a way to heal the situation, and I think it starts with an apology, okay? All right, that's really beautiful. All right, let's see. Wanted to come out again, okay? So the Ten of Swords because somebody is devastated without your energy leo or leo cross watcher somebody's devastated okay like whatever happened really hurt okay so i mean we're just we're confirming here like both of uh, since there's two i think both of you called it quits because this argument was terrible, okay? I think you guys were taking low blows. You guys were taking a lot of shots at each other and um, you really needed to give each other space is what I'm feeling. Lots of swords here. This is why I'm feeling this was a an ugly argument that went too far and somebody said, too much and both needed to go back to your corners okay <laughs> and um really reflect and it's like in the heat of a in the heat of the moment you really don't um care or regret what the fuck is coming out your mouth it's only when time that passes you're just like ugh yeah but then you're like and then you go oh fuck that motherfucker okay <laughs> but then you go back and you think about it and then you're just like Ugh. i think this is what both of you are doing all right <laughs> what else can i tell the leo what time is it oh my gosh that really went far all right, we're going to wrap this up, Leo. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I told you, this person is dreaming about you. This person has a lot of responsibilities, or you do too. Uh, but in the center of it all, they want to offer you the cup. Okay, they still love you. They want to show you how much they appreciate you, or vice versa. And now they're coming back to offer you the world, okay? Look at that dragon, fire-breathing dragon. I told you, like, everything is like they're remembering everything, the argument. But they want to make peace. Um, something about a home. Like, maybe you moved away from them. Or maybe they want to move closer to you. They feel that you're they're spiritually guided towards you. They want to invest in this relationship a lot's going through their mind a lot's going through yours but at the heart of it look at it's the red rose it's the love offer it's the apology all right i'm gonna leave it there for the leo i hope this helped you please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i greatly appreciate it don't forget to hit that notification bell i let you know every time i upload a video all right till next time baby dolls ciao